what's up guys welcome back to roms for you today we will be looking at my os 11 which is from zte devices the rom is based upon android 11 so To begin with, let's quickly get into about phone session. As you see, the Android version is 11 and build number is MyOS 11.0.32. And when you come to more details, you will be able to see that the, the Android security patch is from 1st August 2021. The kernel coupled here is Genos R19, which is from OOF Gang. So you can already imagine the level of performance this ROM can offer. When you come back from about phone, there is also option called system and update. You will be able to see the system update details as well as the language, date and time and backup and reset option as well. All these options are working without any bugs. When you select system update, you will be able to see the upcoming versions from here. But this channel is from OTA and don't expect any update through this channel. Under password and security session, there is option for fingerprint and face unlock. There is also options included for private space as well as app lock and smart lock. The phone is not encrypted out of the box. Fingerprint and face unlock here is faster enough, but keep in mind that there is no IR face unlock supported. Under battery section, you will be able to see all information about battery as well as the management option. You will be able to enable or disable optimization from here. Also, you can enable or disable different kind of power saving modes. Another option here is the features session. There is option for system navigation settings. You will be able to select virtual navigation or gesture navigation from here. Under Z pop-up, you will be able to enable a virtual pop-up button. There is also option for screen recorder as well as the app duplication. When you come to phone use balance, you will be able to see the total usage of your phone. Next is the QS panel. It does got the same control center option as MIUI 12. Opening and closing of QS panel is pretty smooth. The tiles and design is exact look like the MIUI 12 control panel. You will be able to add or remove tiles by selecting edit option here. The QS panel does include screen recorder and it is not capable of recording internal audio and microphone at a time. Even though that is the case, after enabling screen recorder, I didn't notice any lags or jitters here. Everything was pretty smooth and solid. One important point I noticed here is like MIUI 12 control center, the QS panel and notification panels are not different. They are integrated together, which is something good while you are navigating with single handed. Swiping from down to up, you will be able to access the recent menu. It is pretty faster and responsive. I didn't notice any jitters while opening or closing the recent apps. And only one option available which is to clear all the recent apps. The dialer here does comes out with a all call recording feature. You can also enable or disable automatic or manual call recording from here. Which is some cool feature you will be missing from most of the AOSP rooms. Next is the Game Assist. The Game Assist here is not the same as MIUI Game Turbo. It does got its own look and feel. There is no much of options like MIUI Game Turbo. Out of the box, the ROM is rooted. If you are hiding the images properly, you will be able to pass safety net checks. Out of the box, the ROM was not having proper Google app support. After flashing a G app variant, I was able to get the Google Play Store as well as the Play Games and more. And if you come to Google Play Store and settings, the ROM is also Play Product certified. Moving forward out of the box, SC Linux is enforcing. So overall, there is no major issues towards security, only just that the ROM is rooted. Out of the box, the ROM does comes out with Google Go Cam and it is capable of doing all its basic needs. 
few want more features you may need to rely on latest gcam when talking about benchmarking out of the box and two scores for lakh 41000 plus and geekbench scores for single core 509 and multi core 2154 to understand more about performance i did do a 30 minute cpu throttling test the result was also not that much bad overall the rom does manage to keep up the graphs in green and pulled out a average gips value of 2 lakh plus which is something great also the rom does got a decent temperature handling the maximum temperature i noticed with this rom is the 50 degree celsius if you are a intense gamer it can go higher even after performing benchmarking and 30 minute cpu throttling test the rom was only heated up to 50 degree celsius which is something great If you are giving a proper cooling method, you can make it down. Even though it is a port from pure Chinese version, the developer did manage to make it very much bloat-free. They did manage to remove almost all the Chinese applications and all other MIUI-like applications, and it is pretty much bloat-free. I have been using this ROM from last two days, and I am pretty much happy about this ROM. It is pretty smooth and solid. I was able to get more than six hours of screen on time with moderate gaming. So that's it, guys. This is all about ZTE My OS port for Poco Phone F1. Hope this video was helpful to you. Like and shares are always appreciated. Subscribe if you are new here, and I'll catch you in. next one